Okay, so um, just me today. Uh, Sam has gone to Bangkok. Sam has gone to Bangkok to get his new passport. Um, so it's just me, myself, and I today. Um, actually, looking forward to it. I um, don't get many opportunities to just be completely on my own. So I'm going to make the most of it. So I dropped him off at the airport about eight o'clock. Um, and then I just came straight to school. Um, I went to find something called um, cow lamb, which is like, uh, it's bamboo and then they shove, st shove sticky rice and like it's either black beans or sesame or something inside with it. And then they cook it in the bamboo. But the stool, the guy that's normally on the side of the road, wasn't here today. So um, I didn't buy that. So I just came straight to school and I grabbed a soy milk. Um, 7-Eleven and um, yeah I'm just sitting up here and waiting for school to open. It is now 8.50 so I've only got another hour and 10 minutes till school starts so I have set my face and I'm gonna do some artwork, some design from tattoos. Um, show you that was my tattoo that I've got on the back of my neck. Uh, well not that one that one I got done in the end um, yeah I don't normally show people my doodles uh, I did design my friends some tattoos um, ah. and I just feel like I want a new tattoo so um, I'm going on the theme of uh, moon glyphs uh, doing like the elements so earth fire water and air but I want um, dragons involved in some way. I, I feel like all my tattoos have to have like a dragon in it. So that is what I'm currently designing for myself. Um, I am designing some for my sister as well. But I might be able to find some of hers. Uh, this one. That's what I do for my sister. I don't even see that. So I'm going to do another one for her, but she'll have to wait now because I decided that I went on. So anyway, I'm rambling on. So yeah, me, myself, and I today. First stop, school. Then I'm going to go to my nights for lunch and see what the day brings. Exciting. So um, just finished school. Um, I will one day, I think. Uh, recording class I just don't think everyone would appreciate it but maybe one day I will get a chance to record and show you what it's like in class but um, now I am gonna go to uh, for lunch and I think I'm gonna go to a place called uh, morning glory which will be good and then after that I don't know um, I'm picking Sam up at 640 so um, we'll see by the time I finish lunch if I have time to do uh, much else not that I'm gonna have a really long lunch but I might um, pop online and do some things or I might go off and see something or I might um, I did want to go to the cinema um, to see a film so it just depends on the times and stuff um, but anyway let's get going I never know which one it is ah here morning glory spring rolls Vegetable and toasty dishes, noodle dishes, curries, rice dishes, um, seitan and soy dishes, seaweed dishes, desserts, you can't really see but it's pumpkin in coconut milk, um, deep fried tofu, they've also got the black sticky rice with coconut milk, mango and banana on the back. We have fruits, we have salads, rice hummus, spicy Thai salad, the uh soups and stir fries. So we have a think. So we're going for the curry fried rice and the deep fried tofu and the steamed mushrooms with vegetables and tofu. Or well, I might just ask about the tofu and see if they can just do some extra steamed vegetables. 
I'm reading a book at the moment called Hog Father. And it's by a guy called Terry Pratchett. I really like his uh, novels. He's got a whole series called uh, Discworld. Uh, Discworld novels, and it's about 35, 36, maybe even 40, I don't know. Uh, but there's lots of books in this uh, novel. So I'm on number 20. You don't have to read them in order. They're kind of uh, written so you can read any anyone and not know what's going on. Um, but yeah, I, I like reading things in order, so it's a really good book. It's a fantasy book, but it's like it's a bit like Lord of the Rings in the sense of like a whole world has been created um, with different people and blah blah blah. So, but it's really really good. Really uh, recommend you read it. So I didn't go with the steamed vegetables in the end. I just went with the deep fried tofu, which comes with a satay sauce and the curried curried rice, curry rice. Um, this sauce I've had before is really nice and they've got like some uh, tomatoes in it as well. It's like a tomato with satay sauce, but it's really nice. So never had the curry one before, but let's have a go. The curry fried rice, which has veggies and cashews in there. I did have one more dish. I did go and get the uh, steamed vegetables, steamed vegetables, tofu, and again, it came with the peanut sauce. Um, Cause I still was just craving a little bit more, but I didn't want anything heavy. So I just went both veggies. So it was really nice, really tasty. I probably would have preferred that instead of the tofu if I knew the tofu was gonna taste what it tastes like, but it was all good. I wanted to try new things. Like none of those dishes I had today, I'd ever had before there. So um, it was nice to try different things. So uh, yeah, now um, I've decided I'm gonna head to the cinema now. Um, there's a few films on when I get there. I think one's called Allied, um, which I think's got Brad Pitt in. One's called The Arrival, which I think's got something to do with aliens. And I can't remember the other one. The other one. Have a great wall? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So um, yeah, so that's where I'm going. So it, when you think you've got like a whole day to yourself, like a whole day you think oh I'll have, plan I'll have time to do this I'll have time to do that and no that never ever 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 happens like you just don't well I said, don't know, most people don't take into consideration time to travel around places or you know wait for instance lunch I didn't think it would take as long because um, I forgot obviously like you've got waiting time and there they take a little bit longer because they tend to cook everything from scratch I don't think they I think their sauces and stuff they must either make a big batch in the morning or I don't know because a lot of that peanut sauce goes with a lot of their dishes anyway um, so yeah just things like that so by the time I finish school which actually takes up even though it's two hours it actually takes up most of the morning because it's like 10 it'd be like 10 till 12 
okay so everything before the morning it's like it takes about an hour well we normally leave about nine to get to school so that's what well that's an hour and then it's like well the morning so what do i do in the morning i wake up i work out i have breakfast i get washed and change grab my bags go to school then we're at school and then it's lunchtime so that's already the morning gone um it's quite a bit of traffic in town today um, so that's morning gone and then it's the afternoon so by the time you finish lunch like ordered if you're going to one of these places that you do take orders restaurants so normally it's how we eat in j places which is like buffet food so literally you just grab the rice and whatever topping you want and go um what are you doing that's it just driving two lanes well done so yeah and then like let's say by the time you finish chilling eating in your own pace blah 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 and it's two o'clock and then it's like okay two o'clock then what am i gonna do now i pick some i pick some up in four hours so i could drive somewhere and do something and then have to make sure i leave early to come back or i can the cinema where i'm going to is like I don't know, 200 meters away, two, 300 meters, maybe 500 meters away from the airport. So that's why I'm thinking I just go to the cinema, watch a film, which is not going to be more than two hours. I don't think any of them are more than two hours. And then, oh, Live at Night. That's the other film, Live at Night, which I think is set in the 1940s or something in America when they had the ban on alcohol. I think it was set then, or 1920s, it might be. I don't know, I need to look it up. Anyway, so yeah, so my plan is um, airport plaza, right next to the airport, watch a film. If I have time afterwards, I'll just go to the cafe and do any cafe and just grab a drink and wait and then go and pick some up because there's just no point in going far away to only spend like 30 minutes and have to come all the way back and potentially get stuck in a lot of traffic. There was so much traffic this morning. We um, left at seven and normally there's like no traffic at all in the mornings uh, not at that time anyway and it was, it was just gridlocked it was horrible so it, was, it took us an hour which should have taken like 20 to 30 minutes to get to the airport so I'm almost here I'll show you the camera there's airport plaza you see it I prefer parking inside indoor because the car's in the shade and oh no I haven't got the way yeah, so the car's in the shade because when your car's just left in the sun and you don't have a cover, which we do actually make, we made a cover to go over the car. Um, but if you don't have a cover and you leave your car in the sun, it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous anyway in places like the UK, um, even on their hot days. But like here, I mean, hot season, it got up to like 45 degrees or something or even hotter. So imagine leaving your car in that when you open up and start hustling the oven, it's just ridiculous. So yeah, I always try um, to park indoors if I can. But the only thing is, is that everyone's cars has got tinted windows. So any car you buy in Thailand has tinted windows. Some people even have tints all the way down at the front. We don't, we just have like part tinted at the top, just where the sun sort of comes to hit your eyes. Um, but our side windows are tinted, our rear windows tinted, which is great when you're outdoors and it's sunny. As soon as it's like rain clouds, which doesn't even happen that often, even in the rainy season didn't happen that often, or you come indoors then uh, yeah it's like you can't see anything so it's like windows down I'm gonna drive all the way up to the top or as far as I can I don't even think the car park in here goes right to the top of the building if that makes sense it goes so high then you've got to go into the main building and get an escalator up but I'm gonna go all the way to the top so I'm being lazy sorry off my head really need to get some sort of like stand but it's rarely that i do filming in the car like while i'm moving no this is the last floor and that's to go down so i need to figure out where is the shop so we'll park near the shops go on mate you can go and i'll take your space do i take my clothes in with me or do i just get changed in here really hot though it's sorry it's really cold in the cinema the moment there's aircon in most of the buildings it's ridiculous but in the cinema it is freaking freezing so i think i think i'll just get changed now save time and then by the time i pick up sam um by the time i pick him up it'll be getting dark and it'll be quite cool outside anyway so just swap my shorts for my leggings 
I've got my socks on already because it was cold this morning yeah it's crazy thinking that you wear you wrap up in thailand but after two years and being here i think it's safe to say we are acclimatized when we first came here it was november so it was hitting it was the beginning of their cool season and we were like why are people wearing like full-on bomber jackets you know big big ass coats and like woolly hats and gloves and stuff I and mean, on the bikes you can kind of understand maybe not as far as like the big ass like ski jackets but you can still understand and there's people coming yeah you're like why why are people like wrapped up with scarves and everything and we're there just wearing our uh I can put them on the right way yeah we're just there like wearing shorts vest tops um you know as little as possible because we're just sweltering and then the next year so beginning of last year which was still in the cold season like very beginning like january still cold season cool season i should really say and we had a cold spell and uh but our house our old house wasn't that insulated it was just like all made from wood so it wasn't that insulated so there was like maybe three four days when it was just like overcast and like drizzle it wasn't even rain and a bit of a breeze and it was quite actually quite cold i would say it was cold i mean not as cold as northern europe or like you know places like russia and then it's never gonna be that cold but when you're used to being so hot and then going cold then yeah it is cold but we had like I wore like maybe three, four layers, but because it sounds a lot, but because I had like summer clothing, it's thin layers. So it's probably the equivalent of only wearing two layers actually. Um, so this year when my family came out, I got my mum and dad to bring out at least one set of winter, light winter clothing. So they brought over a hoodie, like a thick hoodie and some my jogging bottoms and some socks. So when the cold sort of spell came this time, we were in a better insulated house, but it still got a little bit cold and uh, yeah, but didn't feel it as much, but yeah anyway i'm ready now so water and jacket and keys and camera i am absolutely spouting just wearing these leggings but as soon as i get indoors um, it'll be nice and cold uh, first things first actually i need to get a photocopy of our insurance uh, certificate because I gave our other photocopy which I normally keep in the car to the tax list people and we've got a new tax disc. by night allied or arrival arrival allied allied let's go for this one i've got my ticket um i'm just gonna go to lou before i go i'm just gonna be put to the so you get your cash card from there so there is actually a j stall here a specific j stall um which is over here see it which is good not many of the super like shopping malls i was gonna say supermarket not many shopping malls have this j store but you can see it. it's nice and simple and there's this place it's not technically j but it's vegan food so it's sticky rice i'm going to do sticky rice
last night the uh, battery died uh, so I'll quickly wrap up what happened um, I went to the cinema um, before I went to the cinema I picked up a dessert from that uh, like Thai dessert place with the like fruits with sticky rice and stuff with the coconut cream I went uh, with the uh, it's either the cassava or the yucca I can't remember which one it is um, I think it's the yucca very similar roots anyway so I had that with the um, coconut milk took that in and had that in the cinema with me um, then afterwards I had about about an hour or maybe 50 minutes to spare uh, so I went to one of the coffee shops in the super in the shopping mall I keep calling them supermarkets in the shopping mall and I had a chai Ooh, a chai tea latte with soy milk um, I double checked the soy milk some of the soy milk here for some reason have either collagen or um, milk powder in it so um, it's advertised as soy milk but then it still has this bit so I did it all in Thai very proud of myself the uh, the servers were very very helpful um, show me the pack read it I read it they read it we confirmed that it was vegan so um, yeah that was good and I just chilled there uh, used their free wi-fi checked some messages uh, read my book for a bit and then i went and picked up sam and we went straight home and just chilled for the rest of the evening and that was it end of the day i um really enjoyed spending uh, some time with myself obviously there was other people around but um i did enjoy it and uh yeah i look forward to my next one whenever that may be but it was good fun <laughs>